So I just finished um, checking the ring gaps and the only ring that needs to be modified is the one for cylinder number six. Which is the one that has the fresh sleeve in it. This is actually the second set of rings I'm doing for this cylinder because the first set that I had I took off too much material and it basically became or it was out of spec so I just got a new set and I'm only going to do the compression ring because that's the one that I made my blunder on so firstly I'm going to measure what the, the current gap is and then once I'm sure of what it is I'm going to file it down on either end and check it periodically um, to make sure that it gets to where I need it to be Okay, so I've just installed the ring into the ball and I'm using my feeler gauge and this is the uh, Let's see if I can get that to focus 0 0.006 inch or 0.152 millimeter and that just fits into the the gap there so that is way too small of a clearance what we're aiming for is this one over here 0.35 so this is 0.356 and that'll be fine that is the bottom most wear limit so it's basically brand new so I'm just gonna file this down and then we're gonna try it again okay so I've just filed it and 0 0.008 of an inch or 0 0.203 millimeter can now fit into the gap so it still needs to go quite away until we get to 0.356 millimeters okay I've just filed the ring down and so I'm able to put the feeler gauge with 0.381 millimeter into the, the ring gap which is slightly bigger than we need it but because I'm going to at some stage be running higher boost on this motor I'd rather have a slightly bigger um, gap on this ring uh, for security reasons so now that we're done with the gapping of the ring I can put the ring onto the piston and once we get the crank bolts we'll be able to put the crank in and then put the con rods into the motor